from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the San Diego Padres and the Milwaukee Brewers. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country and a lot of times that's done through sport but for me as a black player when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure baseball's hard enough just to play but then everything sort of on the field off the field and how he persevered through that's so inspiring all right we'll be back to get this one started after this so just about set now and on the hill in this one, J.B. Bukowskis. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting Picking consistent tonight, reps Diego, and the opportunity to develop his baby. stuff. Looking forward Xander to watching him pitch in this one. Okay, all set to go. Now it's going to be Xander Bogarts. Edge of the zone for a strike. And here we go on Jackie Robinson Day. The pitch. Ball. One ball, one strike. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Nabs it, and there's one down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Tyler Wade. Yeah, he's been swinging it really well over the last few weeks, man. An OPS over 900 last month. He's put the team on his back, just carrying these guys. Definitely the guy you want up there right now, especially when you need a big swing of the bat. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Right through there for a strike. With Tatis at the plate, we're looking at a player that is never going to be considered boring. He's an electric player that manages to make plays most players wouldn't consider trying. And he plays the game his own way. It's a big reason why he's considered such a fan favorite. Bounced up the middle. Finds its way through base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That in third. The first baseman. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. Tatis runs. There's a ball. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Come on, Man at second. Down the line. And that is a foul ball. He hit him. Hit him. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf That's tournament this offseason. Here's Manny Machado Manny. now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Base hit right field. Headed for the plate. The throw home. It's offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. First and second, one out. Next for the Padres, Jerickson Profar. And that one wrapped foul. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Whoa. And look out! That one almost one got him. Straighten him up a little bit.
Two on, one out. Smash to the left side. Tags the runner. What a double play that was. Inning over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Back here at American Family Field. Today's starting pitcher, Michael King. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. And he deals. Oliver Ball. Dunn in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Next All pitch two. is downstairs. Duo. Check swing, no appeal. Three Went through there for a strike. Mm -hmm. And boy, oh, that yeah. was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Hard hit, left side. One gone, Ow. bottom half of the first. That Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Jake Bowers. Well, right in the middle of this lineup, and that's exactly where he belongs. I mean, he's there for a reason, Book. This guy, they know they can rely on him, and he's a force, a presence there that, you know, puts a little trepidation in that opposing pitcher. We'll see what kind of impact he has in this one. And now it's William Contreras. <gasps> that catches the top part of the zone. It's 0-1. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Line drive, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. And there he goes. And that one fouled off. The pitch. 1-1. One, one. Squirts away a little bit. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Contreras into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Kicks and deals. And that clips the inside corner. Contreras leads off second with one gone in the inning. And a ball evens the count. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just one of those seeing high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Willie Adamas stands in.
ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one ball. He's looking for no a ground play. ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Runners are at the corners, one away. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Swing and a miss there. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strike out. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. At the belt and fires. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. First and third, one down. Ball and three. another ball. Jake Bowers up next for the Brewers. In the air, left field. He's under it. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. We're tied at one. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, yeah, and a nice job with the sack fly. Yeah, that's a big hitter. Now here's Jake Three. Bowers. Bowers. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. And a pitch. No. Good eye in that spot. Yeah. And that's three. off the inside edge. And now three and one. And that one fouled off. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. King checks on first. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Bogarts tosses to first. That ends the inning. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We move to the second in Milwaukee. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here in Milwaukee, and the batter will be the shortstop, ha Sung Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Bukowskis back to work. Ha. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know, close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Deal two. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base.
Here's the catcher to hit, Luis Campusano. And there's a foul ball. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented no, in that way. Not. And this is what this guy does. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. He's got it. The center fielder, Jackson Merrill. And the batter now, Jackson Merrill. Merrill, in his rookie season, only 20 years old. A former first-round pick in 2021. Bukowskis checks over to first, and he's back. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Pro save. That's a stolen base. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Runner at second here, one gone. Check on the runner. Kim dives back in safely. Riding to the plate. That misses. And now it's even one and one. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. One out and a runner at second. Here at the top of the second. Fouls it off, still one and two. Man at second. Fights that one away, still one and two. That's a little bit low. It's a good take. Two, two. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball, and now the count filled up three and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Fralick has a beat on it. Makes the catch for the out. And there are two down. That is not the third base now batting Tyler Wade. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Padres leave one. Score remains tied, 1-1. Here's the veteran first baseman, Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. One down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. This is Bryce Terang.
Little chopper rolls foul. On the corner for a strike. Right hander kicks deals on the ground. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. Batting in. The white field. Jackson. Chorio. Here's the rookie right fielder, Jackson Chorio. That one's yep. in there. That's strike one. Tied up here in the early going. Oh that boy. misses the zone. Now one and two. And a pitch. And now the count is even. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that oh, one yeah. is inside. Two outs, bases empty. Next offering popped in the air, right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Three up, three down for him there. We play two full, all tied, 1-1. One, one. Here at American Family Field, onto the third the inning. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Bogart. And the right hander back to work. Ball. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And there's one down. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That Whoa. one ran inside, almost got him. One out, base is empty. And now it's one and two. Right side. And that'll fall for a base hit. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. One down. Next is the speedy first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Bukowskis keeping an eye on him. Ball. That one no. close, ruled a ball. And that's ball one.
in the air left field down the line and no one could get to it it's a foul ball pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count just not able to square it up fly ball down the line and that drops foul man at first one away That's out to center field. Perkins under it. Brings it in. The batter, the designated hitter, Manny Machado. Here's Machado. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And that's in for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Two outs. That Whoa. one off the mark. One, one and ball. one. One strike. Bukowskis throws over. Tatis dives back in. pitch comes up empty that's strike two one ball two strikes Tatis leads off first with two down to the inning way outside and the count is even two and two Hater deals. Got him. Out number three. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One, one. Set for the bottom of the third. Up now for Milwaukee. Blake Perkins. Perkins. King back to work and there's a strike next offering upstairs and another ball you won Pitch in for a strike and out two and two. Two ball, two strike. Strike three, got him with the backdoor breaking ball. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can and now Oliver Dunn foul ball there One down, base is empty. Ball. And now it's even up. 1-1. One, one. Good one. chase that time. Let's go. 
That one not close. And that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw over to Cronenworth. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now, uh, Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. Singled and scored his first time. No. This is just off the outside Whoa. edge. I think that was a strike. A 1 0. And yeah, that's outside. 2 0 to count. That's Just missed. And a pitch. And a four pitch walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave oh, you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. No left um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Fraley stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Merrill under it. Makes the play and it's out number three. Brewers strand one. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Jerickson Profar. Here comes a pitch. That ball misses one. the zone. Ball one. Kicks and fires. Close no. one. Doesn't get the call. Two and one. And another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Ground ball to the right side. He handles it himself. Out. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Now so up next, Ha Sung Kim. One for one with a single so far. And there's the strike. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. And foul ball. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting him away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. No ball, one strike.
foul back our way and that's out of play. Two down nobody on good eye right there really good slider he's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. The pitch slider misses outside. Swing and a miss struck him out. Three up, three down for San Diego. Score remains deadlocked at one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the shortstop, Willie Adamas. And he deals. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up into this point. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, that's great execution of the pitch right there and the battery working together. Catcher does a nice job to present that to the umpire and get that call third strike. Jake Bowers up now for the Brewers. Grounded out his first time. Fouled off to the right. And there's the strike. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now back. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And at first with one gone, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He's 0 for 1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. That's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The battle. The second baseman. Here's a speed threat. Bryce Terrain rolled out to second in his first at bat. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed no hitter. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning inning double play, boo. Two on, one out. Ball. Just misses there. One man, ball. oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Mm -hmm. 
The one two. Wouldn't two. chase that time. One out. Runners at first and second. Just misses without one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Jackson Chorio waits on deck. Left hand batter waits. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance speed. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Jackson Chorio, the next to hit. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. Inside just missed. Corners are occupied with two down. Move to first. Terang back easily. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And the righty deals. Slap the other way. Foul. Runners on first and third, two away. Just missed. Blake Perkins in the Milwaukee on deck circle. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Two on, two outs, and they're all loaded up. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Next for the Brewers, Blake Perkins. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Fall off foul. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. Bullpen action for the Padres. Johnny Brito appears to be getting loose. Ah, that got him. And that's going to force in a run. Definitely a problem with the release point there, and it just comes back to bite him. They're going to get away from you at times, but you just can't let it happen with the bases loaded. That's a painful RBI for the hitter. Done in the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Two outs. Ball one. That one, one finds the zone. One and two. Swung on, belted. Merrill on a dead sprint, racing back. And he brings it in on the warning track. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We played four. It's the Brewers two, and the Padres one.
back at the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Singy, we're celebrating Jackie Robinson today, and what an honor it is for these players to have the chance to wear his number 42. In the air, left field. Freilich has a beat on it. And there's one down. Yeah, just an iconic number. And to put that jersey on with four and two on the backside, it's got to be inspiring. These guys are honored and privileged to be able to go out there and play on a day like today. Wade batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The Padres down by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's oh. off the mark, and the count is one and one. Not close with that one, and yeah, that's ball two. One down, base is empty. To the right side. Fires over to Hoskins. And they got him. Now batting. So the San Diego batting order turns over. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Bogarts in his 11th season, 31 years old, and he was born in Aruba. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. At the belt and fires. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. And our score remains 2-1. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Johnny Brito. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So digging in, William Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. and. This kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. And he smiled as well, said, yeah, he's good, and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually. 0-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Going two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Fouls it back with two strikes. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. That one lifted to left. Profar under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting left fielder. 
Sal Freeland up now for the Brewers. Just no, missed. Down. It's in and out of his glove. Throw to first. He's gets him. Up. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Two outs. Space is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. Willie Adamas. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Ball. That's inside, and it's one and one. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Everything came together for him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. At the play, Jake Bowers. Pitch misses, and it's one and one. No strike. Just oh, no. missed. No, Just missed. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. There's a strike. And the count is three and one. Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance four. there. Able to take the walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And a good eye there. And the 1 0 misses low. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. This one high in the air to left center. Profar sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And the inning is over. Brewers strand a couple, but they still lead it 2 to 1. And we're back. Top six. Stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. Bukowskis back to work. Slider clips the zone. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next offering is downstairs. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Abner Uribe, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Milner getting loose as well. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. And 
And he hits a ground ball right side to Rang. And they take care of Tatis for the out. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. One down, base is empty. That's the third, and it's through for a hit. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Manny Machado up to the play. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Whoa. That one is upstairs. And a pitch. That ah. one finds the zone, and it's one and one. With the go ahead run at the plate, and we're in the top half of the sixth. So ah. now one and two. The two strikes <laughs> may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Hex and misses. It's a strikeout. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. So digging in now for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Two outs. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, that kind of hurts yeah, because it puts a runner in scoring like position with Hockey two away, the but it's all about turning the page right here. Got to shake it off and figure out a way to get that last out. Kim ball, up go. to bat next lays off for a ball. Oh, no. The one on -oh. and another ball. First and second, two down. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. Padres leave a pair. And they trail it here, two to one. Back here in Milwaukee, John Shelby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Bryce Terang. The pitch and first offering is fouled off well these Brewers really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one it's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work they really made that opposing starter work in this one ran his pitch count up and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen Here's the 0-2. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. 
Well, he froze him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball once he recognized that it was off speed. He just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Chorio yeah. in the box now. No balls and a strike. And no, That's they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. In the air, out towards left center. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Up next for Milwaukee. The center field. Next for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Ball one, no strikes. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Next pitch is outside. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Two down, nobody on. him swinging three up three down for Milwaukee as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead Obi Milner gets the call from the pen he's pitching on two days rest Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Luis Campusano. And a pitch. No, Just that's a missed. Ball. Too low. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. This is the type of hitter his club wants at the plate, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here to third sends it across the first and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh those plays can be tricky they're routine but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth he delivered a good play right there Jackson Merrill digs in now just missed And that one ripped to left, and there's two away. Fell off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base, maybe even extra bases. No yeah. dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Tyler, Tyler Wade, the next up for the Padres. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike okay. one. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. No. And one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And the pitch. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Two, two. Bounce to the right side. Sends it to first. Ah. Padres go down one, two, three. 
Nothing doing there for the Friars. They're down two to one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Tom Cosgrove. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Oliver Dunn. Here comes a pitch. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Aniel De Los Santos up and loosening in the pen. The lefty, the 1 0. No. Right through there for a strike. That oh, one missed. No. Three oh, one, and he couldn't Take come up with it. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much for that. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. And now William Contreras, one for two. There's the strike. Pitch and a foul ball. One, two in the dirt, blocked to second, but way too late. Safe there, done into scored position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Really good read by the runner there. His secondary lead, he anticipates the trajectory going down and gets a really nice jump up to second base. Now he's in scoring position. He's taken away the double play opportunity. Ball. Two ball, two strikes. Hard on the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting, left fielder. Sal Fraley will hit next. One for three. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. And now the runner breaks for the plate, and he pops up the squeeze. Bogarts makes the catch. Well, he gave the bun a shot there, but not now able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or it can be bunted right back at a position player. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. And a swing and a miss. Two outs and a runner at third. Here at the bottom of the seventh. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball, one strike. Next offering is down low. Well chase that time. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Jake Bowers up next for the Brewers.
3 2 now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Brewers two and the Padres one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Elvis Piguero. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Leading Xander Bogarts. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. The pitch. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Joel Piamps, the closer of the staff, is throwing. And the 1 0. And a good eye there. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Fouled off. He was late. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Righty to the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Pretty good strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And that's downstairs and outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. And another ball. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Jake Cronenworth getting on deck circle. Right-hander kicks deals. And he That's walked him. Take your base. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this okay. game. He's Couple certainly a threat on the bases, eight. especially with them looking to tie this thing up. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. That well, one misses. Guy. That's five straight. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. That ah. pitch gets the corner. That is strike two. One Move to first. Tatis back in standing. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. And a 1-2. He fouls it off. We'll do it again.
And the pitch. Run around the move. Foul ball still a one and two count. Trying to hold a one run lead. And we're at the top of the eighth. Struck him out looking. And now it's Manny Machado. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. On its way to the corner, and that will drop foul. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Move over to first, try to keep him close. Two outs. And fouled off. Runner on the goal. Pitch is low. And safe. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. So the tying run at second. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right-handed reliever. Not even close there. And the count is two and two. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Rolls across the diamond. Machado out of the play. And that is that. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Brewers two and the Padres one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Adrian Morahome. He's making his second appearance of the season. Well, one run game, Jake Bowers. Up now for the Brewers. A little surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. The why to kick the pitch. More of home. In his fourth year, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. To first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting second baseman, Bryce. Terang. Two outs, bases empty. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because ball. there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, One automatically ball. that strike. team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just right. takes it away. And a One, big two. swing and a miss. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Nothing across here this half. Through eight full. 
It's the Brewers two and the Padres one. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Joel Piamps. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Profar, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Out to short, and that one finds its way through. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Now oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Substitution now at first base. Here's the Padres pinch runner, Jose Azokar. No outs, runner at first. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Bunts it in the air. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now battle. The catcher, Luis Campusano. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Luis Campusano. First offering. Runner goes. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. Rowe comes no. into third. Save. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Now they've got to find a way to get the job done. High run at third, less than two. This is a huge at bat coming up. Merrill in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Kicks and fires. Oh. And there's a ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Tyler Wade on deck for the Padres. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Ball four, he walked in, and that keeps things going. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Next for the Padres, Tyler Wade. That's in for a strike. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. That was a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Oh. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And the righty deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. That's a really good take. And another ball. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. 
that one down the line base hit one run is in runner around third fires it to the plate he'll score and the Padres take the lead three to two big one there as he drives in a couple of runs just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline that's really excellent back control and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots that was just nice so a young arm coming on now out of the pen Abner Uribe and this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. 0 for 4 with a pair of strikeouts and a pair of flyouts. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ground ball right side. It's through for a hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they lead by two. Now that the right field, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr., the next up for the Padres. Well, one one. In the infield at the corners, no don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Still only one out here in the inning. Tatis waits. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Stepping in, Jake Cronenworth. That one misses. And that's ball one. And the right hander deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Two on, two outs. Two and one. another ball. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. looking that's a strikeout so they get three and jump ahead late eight nine one do up in the bottom of inning number nine it's the Padres four and the Brewers two now into the game Jose Azokar he'll be out in left field Robert Suarez on a pitch out of the pen here well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And now the right fielder, the Jackson the Chorio. The right fielder, Jackson Chorio. The pitch. This to center field. And makes the grab. One up, one down. Now batting the center fielder. He's two outs away. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Blake Perkins. Okay, 
ball no. one there. Ball. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. Two down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Now batting, the third baseman, Oliver. So last chance for the Brewers. Up now for Milwaukee, Oliver Dunn. That's in there for strike one. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Suarez is just one strike away. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.